The CIO Association of Canada definitely provides its members with opportunities to boost their performance, connect and get inspired, as well as having a positive and lasting impact on fellow senior IMIT leaders. And this is why we have John here today and we're so fortunate to have him. Uh, there's so many burning questions though, John. Uh, I just wanna get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna start with one that maybe you're asked quite a bit, but our members were definitely, when we polled them, said they were very interested in this. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey as a Canadian tech leader uh, at BlackBerry and how you pivoted this, uh, the security software company that it is to what it is today? Very nice to be here and have a chat. I know the CIO Association of Canada is probably one of the more important constituents of BlackBerry. Canadian companies and it tends to be a little understated. You know, we do a lot more stuff. And actually Canada did a lot of it. Canada has a lot of technology and done a lot of good stuff that globally isn't really well known enough, you know. I jokingly tell some of your colleagues in the government, uh, when I go to APAC, for example, where you know the top twenty countries represented, um, when you go to APAC and you look at the Canadian display in the exhibit hall, what do you normally see? You don't see technology. What you see is clean air and clean water. You know, you see this picture of running, nice looking running streams and, you know, a, a, a lifestyle and an environmental. All those are very important, don't get me wrong. But when you when you want to focus on trade, it's very hard to trade clean air. Uh, nobody have captured that yet, All right? So, you know, if, if our strategy, according to the PM, is a knowledge-based society, you know, we should be pounding the, that, that message out there in, in kind of the global, whether it's a G20 gathering or a G7, G8, or, uh, you know, whatever the gathering or bilaterals discussion and all that, I, I think it, it needs to, we change our images a little bit. So, but that tells you a lot about, you know, Canada tends to be more understated of the accomplishment. And, and seems to be a little shy and going out there and say, hey, I need your business. Give me your business. And, and, and you know, now you compare to the neighbor in the United States, you know, there are more people in the Commerce Department and the State Department pushing the American brand, you know, everywhere in the world. Um, and, we, and we in Canada don't do as much, and in my opinion, do very, very well. Um, you know, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs always help us anywhere in the world. I, I have no qualms about that. Um, just wanted to do more for others. One of the coolest things that we're working on, we're really putting a lot of effort and attention with no revenue, but with what a very promising future is to create the analytics that could, you know, security analytics on any IoT device that could move a process at, at both the edge of the component as well as connecting to the cloud and using AI technology. I think this is extremely cool because, you know, I'll just use cars, example, because that's what I focus on right now. Your car will be your new future wallet. Uh, your car think a lot about, you know, how to improve itself. Um, and there's tons of application, whether it has to do with energy or battery management or, or payment systems or generating uh, encrypted ID and you know making sure you are who you are and and, and man monitoring the, the health safety of all the occupants etc cetera, etc cetera. 